Hi guys, Kevin here, and today I'm going to show you the Godox M1 and R1 RGB LED lights. So what makes these lights so cool? Well, you can use them as just a white light like this, and this is a really small, convenient little accent light, and it's got um, a nice little swivel arm here with lots of mounting points. So there's lots of ways you can run this on camera or off camera. And obviously it's very compact and it runs on a lithium battery. Same can be said for the even smaller R1 here. But uh, the real reason you get one of these is probably to do stuff like this. Look at that, that's awesome. So these are RGB LED lights. That means you've got basically any color in the rainbow to play with. I can cycle through the colors there. Both of these can do that. Um, so yeah, like leave the gels at home, bring one of these, it's super convenient. And uh, you've also got these effects, which are pretty cool. You can play with them. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys, so I clearly needed to figure out how the controls worked and I sat down with it for a minute and it's honestly not too bad. The control scheme is actually the same on both of these guys. I'll be going through it on the M1, but you're going to find some common things. So you have a power switch on here, um, very similar power switch over here on this guy. So um, the buttons and dials and switches all do the same thing. They're just going to be found in different places. So first of all, uh, let's turn this guy on. That's easy. Now there are two control dials. So one's got this sort of tactile bump here. That's the main control dial. And the other one here, the smooth dial, that just controls brightness. So I'm just going to call this one the brightness dial. Um, you do basically everything else with the other dial. From the back here, I can see a bit of our, our uh, display there. And right now I'm seeing a temperature um, in Kelvin. So I'm in the white light mode. I can go all the way down to 2500 Kelvin or all the way up to... What does that say? 8,500 Kelvin. So quite a range there. Um, if I want to switch to the next mode, I will hit the mode button, which is the button between the dials. And now I'm where this is going to be the most fun, the RGB mode. So I can use the control dial again to, in this case, cycle through the colors. Now, if you're observant, you'll see there's an arrow pointing towards the H, so that stands for hue. If I press down on the control dial, I can select S, which is saturation. So I can desaturate the colors if I want to. Whoops. There we go. Not sure why you would want to, though. Let's, let's keep that right at 100. And then, yeah, if I hit the... If I press down on the uh, control dial again, I can switch. So again, this, this operates as a button and a dial, and now I'm cycling through the colors again. Next up, let's hit mode button again. I'm in the effects. Now, these will require some experimentation, um, but I can, if I move the dial here, I'm actually alternating between various effects. Uh, and if I press down on the dial, there are usually, uh, there's, yeah, I think three variations at least for each of these effects. This first one here is kind of like simulating a lightning storm. And there's a few variations of that. This next one here. And now we're on the next page. We've got some color effects. So I don't have too much to say about these. Oh, if you need to get somewhere fast, you can use this. No, just kidding. Don't do that. Um, but yeah, play around with those. They're a lot of fun for your video productions. Now on the R1 here, everything is exactly the same. Uh, so I've got my power switch there and I have the control dial. And I'm controlling temperature and the brightness dial. Everything's exactly the same. <clears throat> Display is a little smaller and you're going to see it right there. Now I'm just going to go over some of the physical features of each and the accessories they come with. So starting with the M1, uh, one thing that's very cool about this is the bracket. So this is an integrated bracket. You can see the arm can swing out in either direction. Uh, and if I press here, I can get this little piece to come out as well. 
So this gives you a lot of angles um, that you can uh, achieve if you were, say, mounting this um, on camera. Um, you can kind of get it out of the way of other stuff on your camera cage or whatever. You'll see you've got basically as many <laughs> mounting points as you'd want. These are all uh, quarter inch threads. So that's very cool. Um, with the M1, you're going to get a couple of things. You're going to get this nice little case for it. So I can slide that in there. That's just going to protect it for travel. Um, you're also going to get one of these guys. So this is for uh, if you wanted to mount it on your camera's hot shoe. You got a little hot uh, shoe mount there. And then these screws which will apply pressure either way so you'll get a nice snug fit on there. Now this will also come with the R1. Um, and next up we've got a power cable. Again, this comes with both the M1 and the R1. Um, so that'll just plug into the USB-C port that you'll find there. It's an integrated battery on both of these, so that's how you would charge it. And you can charge that through your computer or a power brick for your phone or whatever if you have one. It does not come with a power brick, so I should just let you know about that. Um, and lastly, there's a couple things that come with the R1 exclusively. So uh, firstly, you've got these kind of Velcro pads. So there's adhesive on these. If you wanted to mount this somewhere special, you could sticker that onto here, and then you've got a way of just sticking it to a surface. Now the other thing about the R1 is this whole piece here is actually magnetic. So uh, if I had something metal, I could just kachunk it onto there. <laughs> it works really nicely that way. Uh, there's also a magnetic mounting system for mounting accessories. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the AKR1 accessory kit, but this is compatible with all of those accessories. Uh, it w the R1 itself will actually come with a little, little dome diffuser, so you can put that on there. It's just going to diffuse the light and spread it a little bit. Uh, it's also going to get rid of those kind of like pinpoint sources that you can see because you can actually see all of these little LEDs. You can pick those up in some reflections, so having something like this is nice for that. And this is a little bit less frosted than the one that comes with the... Uh, AKR1 accessory kit, which I think is good for this light because it's it's a small LED, doesn't have a ton of power. So that's pretty much the overview of everything that these guys come with. So the M1 comes with the carrying case, hot shoe mount, and power cable, and the R1 comes with the power cable, hot shoe mount, a couple of these guys, and the dome diffuser. So there you have it guys, the M1 and R1 RGB LED lights from Godox. Uh, they're just super nifty. Once you have one of these, it's a no-brainer. You'll bring it on every shoot with you because it takes up n almost no space whatsoever. And uh, just a ton of functionality there. It's a great uh, on-camera light if you're looking for just a run-and-gun type setup. Or of course, they're excellent accent lights, particularly with that RGB capability. You can leave the gels at home a lot of the time. Now, if you're having a hard time deciding between the two, the M1 is a bit more powerful because you've got extra real estate for LEDs here, uh, and it does have a longer battery life at just shy of two hours. Uh, however, this falls not far behind with 90 minutes of battery life, and it, I have to say the ability to take those AKR1 accessories is really cool. Opens up a lot of possibilities for this with some unique, small, compact, easy to use modifiers. So guys, uh, if you have any questions about either of these, you can put them in the comments below or we're always happy to help you uh, over phone or email. Until next time, I'm Kevin with strobepro.com.